Hello Milky friends, it's Milk Stew here. How are you? Hope you are well. It's 2am here in London. I can't sleep. I'm waiting for the reset for the new weekly event, which this week should be quite exciting because there's a new Abyss Hero, as well as some new uh, Valentine's Day or Chinese New Year Valentine's Day events. So can't wait for that to drop. But in the meantime, I think thought I would do some Brave Trial while that time passes and until the new event drops. So without further ado, let's let's go do some Brave Trial. So usual practice, all we unequip our top six heroes to lower their overall power. And so we have the maximum opportunity for facing the lowest possible powered team or set of teams. I don't actually know if that's true. I mean, I've been told that that's true. I've seen others uh, in my guild who have basically left all the armor and artifacts on the heroes and they've been able to complete Brave Trial. I think... So obviously the game is split into PvE and PvP. PvE uh, requires a different set of characters and then PvP, I think, not only requires a different focus on characters, but also your breadth of characters. How many heroes, different heroes do you have? And I think that's one of the key successes or secrets or success factors for, for Brave Trout. You need to have many different, what I call types of heroes or, and strength of heroes. And, I mean, ideally you just want a full team of, I guess, 10 E5 heroes, but that's gonna take a while to build up. For me, I, I only have two. I have two E3s, a couple of E2s, an E1, and then the rest are basically nine stars. I think it's very easy to get nine star heroes, but very hard to get uh, obviously much higher up tiered heroes because you need a lot more food. And I think that's why, why I've highlighted the breadth factors. I think that's one of the key reasons why I've been so successful with Brave Child. You would have seen the last few videos I've done. Um, admittedly, one of them I did spend gems or a couple of my I, I, I did spend gems on them. But having said that, I think it was an unreasonable amount of gems. It was like maybe one, 200 gems. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the Brave Trial Arena. So I think the point I was trying to make, <laughs> sorry, I keep going off on tangents, is the fact that I think you need a pretty deep and wide team or a rel relatively large enough rotation of heroes to be, at, to be successful in Brave Tile, especially the night levels. The day levels, you can see that I basically just walk through with my E5 Ada, and I think that will be the case for most people. Certainly, this is what I saw with my guild member when I saw his video of him clearing Brave Tile. He basically used one day to clear day one to 15, and I'm exactly the same. Very, very rarely do I ever lose uh, in during the daytime for Brave Trial. And if I do lose, it's usually stage 15 or stage 14. But as you can see, guys, no problem with the day stages. And the day stages typically have uh, heroes less than a million power, which Ada can either easily handle. So after the rejig of Brave Trial, I think they've made daytime way too easy, or I shouldn't say that. They've made it more competitive because I used to not be able to get to Brave Trial 15 during the day. <laughs> so I didn't even worry about the night. I didn't even know there was a night. I thought there was only day the first time I did this until I thought, oh, <laughs> that's a whole set of another 15 levels. And that was when it was genuinely impossible uh, to get to night. So here we are guys, night one. Night 2 still doesn't seem like a problem, still less than a million power, nothing powerful. Now, the big Night 3, who have we got? Grok. So Grok has an interesting team. I can actually beat Grok with my current lineup. Well, I can beat him 50% of the time. It's a 50-50 battle. It depends on what his DA does. Uh, if his DA manages to shoot off before my Amun-Ra can get the, sh the Force Protection Shield up, that, that purple shield, uh, I'll win. If, however, they petrify my Amun-Ra and the shield doesn't get up, I'll lose. 
And so I'm in two minds as to whether or not I... I'm in two minds as to whether or not I use power-ups against this guy, just to get that speed boost up. Um, so we've got to do the Stanger Ranger set. Penny's fine. Horus is fine. So Horus usually, yeah, I do. No, I don't. I give him the stun anti-stun artifact. I forget. I use antlers. I use antlers cane on Aspen. There we go. And Cruz. I'm trying to get another demon bell for my Cruz, but obviously those are pay-to-win artifacts. But with the new monthly reworks, we can get those universal shards. It shouldn't be a problem uh, to eventually save up for a demon, another demon bell. So here we go. I think I will use a couple of boost, just just to be certain. Better to be safe than sorry. Probably get a speed. No. Three health. <laughs> That's a lot of health. I think health is the worst thing you, worst thing you can get with the blessings. Uh, I'm usually after just attacks. If I had a choice, I would want just to bless attacks. Speed. Speed is only obviously only useful. You, you can't attack twice in a round, so if you get multiple blessings of speed, that is super unlucky. So the question is, who do I use against uh, GG Grok? Usually I use an Auraless team. I take Penny out of the Aura and I sub Amun Ra for Penny. And I think I might, I might go with that again, simply because uh, I need the shield from Amun Ra. So, sorry. A to slot two. That should be it. Let's let's see if this works. Fingers crossed, guys. It's never guaranteed. Here we go. Shields up. There you go. See, see how when the shield goes up, anything that D any damage that DA does instantly gets converted to health. So DA is basically useless when Armin runs on the team. Great, so we did well there. And now the usual four drop off in power. And this is where, guys, we've got to be careful. We've got to take away heroes because uh, what I don't want to face myself in one of the later nodes. So I think this is the bare minimum team needed to, to get through and beat this level. But just in case, I'll just put some dud heroes in and let's see what happens. Because there's only there, there are only two Valks. The rest of the heroes are kind of junky. Uh, well, not junky. They're great heroes, but they're not powerful enough to do anything meaningful. In terms, of, they're not powerful enough to meaningfully damage my team. So, DD Doc again. Who we've got here? Stun, stun, stun. These heroes just aren't in the meta anymore. So, uh, again, I'll put some weak heroes in. This team isn't power enough, powerful, my most powerful loadup, so I'm comfortable putting these junk heroes in the back. They're not junk heroes, guys. <laughs> I say that half-heartedly. They are pretty decent heroes, but they just don't have the power. And I probably don't need them, but if you've got them, why not use them, right? So, didn't face myself, which is good. So, interestingly enough, I read on Reddit... Uh, as some of you may be aware that the, the idle hero files got hacked. Um, not hacked, but they got decomposed and some interesting stats came out. And basically, you have a 20%, well, you have an increasing chance of facing yourself as you progress up uh, the Brave Trial levels, especially at night. Um, so I think the odds were a 20% chance uh, at each level increasing to, I think, a 60% chance at Brave Trial 15. Uh, I have to confirm the numbers, but you have an increasing chance of facing yourself as you move up. So if you don't want to face yourself as you go up, uh, you just basically have to keep in mind that uh, the stage before the, the multiple of three node, don't use your strongest team. Otherwise, there's a high chance that you'll face yourself. Uh, so here we go. This node. Who am I worried about? No one really. No one really, to be honest. I think we can probably bring out the rainbow or a bit of the rainbow or just with a Valk. Let's see what happens. Skip. Yeah. 
Stage seven. Ooh, here we go. Should have known that one hero isn't enough. That That's a lesson right there. So we revive Ada, who's probably the most critical one. Actually, what happened there? I... Okay. Lost, but I can put in my GV here. To cream that, yeah, no problem. Number eight. And this is where, I'll, again, I'll strip back my power. Kathleen, not really scared of anyone there. And I probably don't need to strip back too much because it's really I only need the two heroes. Yeah. Will I face myself? No, obviously. I think <laughs> I think the algorithm knows when you have an underpowered team and probably realizes, hang on, <laughs> you haven't got anyone. I'm not going to pick you. You've, you've just purposely used the weakest team. I'm going to ignore you. I'll probably do a heal and a boost here. Again, if you've got these tokens, you should use them. <laughs> if you saw my last video, I did 23 blessings uh, on the very last stage. Use them when you think you should use them. So when uh, heroes are underpowered and, and when a blessing will probably get you through. Otherwise, you, you'll, you'll regret not using them. So here we go. We'll run the GV. See what happens. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. So stage 10, notice the power drops in between the multiple three stages. It's still going up, but it's not quite as bad. As, as one of those hard notes. So here, I'm worried about the Valk. Sia, who's obviously fallen out of the meta. She can't really do much these days. So I don't think I need a full power team. I can think I think I can just go with Ada and Aspen again, who are my, my go-to heroes. Yeah. This one's a bit more powerful, guys. So who do we have that I'm worried about? Scary's not really a problem. Vesa is a problem. I might just load it up with Armin um, Ra just to just for the shield. I don't really want to put anyone else in. Let's see what happens. Yes. Did I lose anyone? Yeah, I lost Armin Ra. So this team, it's a GVE team. It's a pretty decent GVE team, actually. The mistake here, guys, that I can see in the highlight is Say is obviously concentrated on Belrain. She would not be the first hero I I, I push up, and and neither would uh, is this Michelle or Faith Uh It's it's Michelle. So I wouldn't push Michelle or Belrain up first in in the light ranks. I would probably regress them for Ada. Ada, as you can see, is just so overpowered. I think the mistake here is progressing those f first two lights and, and ignoring Ada, but that might be because Zay doesn't have enough copies, but still, I just would not ignore Ada. I, I would, if, where possible, if Say can get enough copies, I would actually regress the first two just for Ada. Having said that, look, this is a pretty decent team. I think we need to do some magic here. We need to do some magic clearly. So, we need to revive not revive, heal, but we need to re we do need to revive Armin Ra. Who else do we have in our GV lineup? Uh, probably need to heal there. Heal there. Should we heal Bell Rain as well? Or should we... Here's a trade-off. I can either heal Bell Rain or I can use three blessings. Uh, and given that Bell Rain's only... Nine star, it's probably better to go with the blessings unless I get three increases of speed, which I do not want. There we go. <laughs> as soon as I say it, they give me more speed. One more, more speed? No, I, attack, great. So, let's stack in our GVE and see what happens. My GVE versus Say's GVE. Here we go. 
Ah, uh, see, there we go. They've petrified my Amon Ra. The shield's not up. That DA is going to do a lot of damage. I re. No, we're safe. We're safe. I was worried. Anytime they lock down Amon Ra, that's just bad news. Especially if they have a DA. DA is the X Factor. DA will wipe out your team if you don't have any shields. So this team, you'll see it has an E3 DA. I'm very scared of that. And Vesa. Vesa is this unknown X Factor. The first two heroes are kind of junky. So this uh, looks like Korean. Korean player? I don't speak Korean. This Korean player is running a pretty decent team. And I'm decently scared enough of it that I will put in some of these other heroes. Let's see how we go. There we go, shields up, so I'm safe. And you'll see how that attack from DA instantly got, well, not instantly, but it got converted to health. No problem there. Number 14, and this is where it gets tricky. Uh, I don't wanna face myself in hard 15, but is this team decent enough that I'm scared of it? No, it's just really the E5 Valk. I think I can get away with just three heroes. Or... Yes, right, so now, there we go. Face myself. Like I said, guys, you will have the highest chance of facing yourself at night 15. And that's where it's critical to get the right combo of heroes. Uh, a sufficiently strong enough team, but not that strong that you can't beat it if you face yourself in 15 when you're at 14. So this team, I think I can beat. How many of those tokens do I have left? Because you want to maximize your use of tokens in the final stage. You don't want to leave anything to chance because you don't want to get that close, not use your tokens, use all your tokens and then have to use gems to just to finish night 15. So I think I need to revive. I, I probably want to run my GVE. Uh, so I'll revive or do I a full GVE? Bell rain because she buffs, but I don't think the, G the ore is strong enough it's not worth five blessings. So I will bless myself five times. Speed, yeah, I knew it. Always speed, when, especially when you don't want it. That's so frustrating, but it's part of the RNG of the game. So do I go with Penny or do I go with Cruz? I probably want a bit of stun in there just to lock down Armin Ra on the other side because I know she's an X Sector. Penny, Penny's useless uh, against Armin Ra. Here we go. I think we've got this. Still full team up, yes. Hey, victory. There we go, another brave trial cleared without gems. I love it when that happens. So let's see what we have in terms of rewards. An armivore who I am not building. I mean, I have an eight star armivore uh, and he'll probably be the last dark hero I build, honestly. So 63,500 scales, which is great. And you'll see Armavor is one of the dark heroes here who you can summon that requires less dragon scales. Interesting how you require, well, the rewards required for the light and dark heroes in BT, I think more accurately reflect where they are in the meta. And I think the developers know that. Oh, the reason why I highlight that is because in, in the feathers shop, obviously all dark heroes are 80 feathers, which is, uh, I think, silly. Uh, especially given the fact that some light heroes and some dark heroes are clearly way better than others. And I think the number of feathers should reflect that, like they do in Brave Trial. So here, skin shards. When I've bought everything I want, <laughs> skins are probably the last thing I'll ever focus on. And so here, any light and dark shards? No. So there we go, all. Another Brave Trial successfully cleared. And now hopefully the event will drop. Have a great day.